Take a look at these two hives. Something does not seem right here. About half of the bees are flying in confusion around one of the entrances. The right entrance of the left hive? Why would that be? What happened here is that we've caused a lot of confusion for the bees. After we had moved our first hive, two and a half feet to the right, and then added the second hive on the left way too early. It's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and some of the returning 4G bees are desperately trying to get into the wrong entrance. The bees are circling in confusion around the closed entrance of the new empty beehive on the left. Before the bees flew foraging in the morning, they had their orientation flights and stored the GPS-like coordinates of their home entrance that had moved since then. So, will the foragers figure out which entrance is theirs if both entrances are about two and a half feet away from what the bees had remembered? Here's how this mishap happened. Originally, our first horizontal hive was installed on the left of the hive stand with its open entrance on the right. An active and growing bee colony was busy bringing pollen and nectar through the single open right entrance. When we temporarily added the second empty horizontal lens hive to the right of the first hive on the same hive stand, the bees did not mind. But we decided that we wanted to further increase the distance between the future open entrances of the two hives. Although the minimal recommended distance between the open entrances of separate colonies is about one and a half feet, the larger the distance, the better. The first hive, populated with the first bee colony, had the rightmost entrance open. So we decided to switch the hives and move the first hive all the way to the right and then have the second hive on the left with its leftmost entrance open. That way, the distance between two open entrances would be about six feet. The second hive was still empty, so we quickly took it out so that we could start moving the first populated hive to the right. The first problem was that the total distance we had to move the populated first beehive was five feet. But moving such hive over two and a half feet in 24 hours is not a good idea, as the returning foraging bees would have a problem finding their hive entrance. So then we had to move the first beehive two times over the two consecutive days by just two and a half feet each day. On the first day, after we moved the populated first hive to the right by two and a half feet in the middle of the sunny afternoon, there was no problem at all. The returning forager bees had no difficulty finding the open entrance of their hive. Then on the second day, we moved the same populated first hive further again by two and a half feet all the way to the right and started preparing a new second hive. And then we made the mistake of rushing to install the empty hive on the left before all the forager bees had returned for the day. And that's why half of the bees were confused which entrance was the right one. Thankfully, the honeybees were confused for no more than three hours. And gradually, more and more of the returning forager bees sensed the correct entrance. The queen's pheromones helped. Peace and harmony returned. And by the way, in the end, we have decided on a much better spot for our second hive, which now has its own bee colony. This hive is now placed on its own aluminum stand, about 25 feet away from the first hive. The legs of the aluminum stand are placed in the pots filled with water and a dab of oil, so that the ants won't be able to get in.